on everyone? It's Saturday. I'm backing out of my driveway right now. So I'm going to the horse stables to go and uh, shovel some horse poop with my fiance. Can't think of anything more romantic to do, right? <laughs> If any of you are wondering why I'm going to the horse stables to voluntarily shovel horse poop with my fiance, it's because she has a job there and it's actually really fun working with her. I mean, if that's not a good sign of a healthy relationship, I don't know what is because I know a lot of people who can't work with their spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. It's a nice cloudy day out today. Hopefully it'll be uh, stay like this because it'll be nice and cool. So tomorrow's Easter. And I know there are a lot of different people with a lot of different religious beliefs on the holiday. But I think that there's one consistent theme that I'm discovering with a lot of people that I'm talking about. Their plans for the weekend and whatnot. And that seems to be this family. And uh, the, the common question is, what are you doing for Easter? I'm taking my kids out. You know, we're going to the park. We're going and doing this or that. Or we're going to a friend's house for an Easter dinner. And I think on top of that, it's also about friends. You know, if you have some really good friends, you're going to want to spend the holiday with them. So, whether you believe that Jesus was resurrected from the dead on on Easter, or you believe that someone magically genetically engineered a rabbit that will uh, produce perfectly wrapped Cadbury eggs, but only do it once a year, um, I think that we can all agree that it's about family, and it's a good day for that. I know I'm, not many of you probably care about this, but I just finished the 816th video made by Hank and John Green, the Vlogbrothers, last night. A lot of my inspiration for these videos that I'm making and a lot of the technique that I'm using uh, comes from watching their videos. I think they're two pretty cool people, even though they I have some disagreements with their philosophy on certain things, but I mean, I'm going to have disagreements with everyone, and I'm trying to be a little bit more... Uh, easygoing about the way that I interact with other people because I think having differences in opinions is a valuable trait and it's not something that should be shunned. If someone doesn't disagree with you they're either going to change your mind or become, make you become stronger in your own topic, your own opinion and without challenge you have no reason to truly look at the way that you're looking at the world. Anyway I'm almost at the stables here. I'm probably going to film more later. Okay, so obviously I'm back at the house and I didn't do any filming over at the stables. There wasn't really a whole lot to see over there. I mean, there was a lot of horse poop, there was a lot of uh, dust, and that's about it. I did have a nice lunch with my uh, fiancé though and we got a lot of work done. So overall it was a pretty productive day. I talked a little bit about Easter and uh, the significance of that holiday. It is what it is to most people. I mean, it, you can take it from a very specific religious standpoint or you can just take it for, you know, Easter bunnies and Cadbury eggs and getting sick off of peeps. But whether or not you use it just for the peeps or you use it for family or you use it for religion, I hope everyone has an awesome Easter. I know I'm going to try. One of the things I'm going to be doing is going and having uh, bre a nice breakfast with my uh, so over the next couple months here, I'm going to be tackling this big boy right here. <laughs> With that in mind, expect me to be uh, talking about computer stuff a lot more. I don't know how many of you are like nerdy, like me, but I find that stuff pretty interesting. That and, you know, particle physics, sci-fi, Star Wars, World of Warcraft, anime, R.A. Salvatore, fantasy novels. But that's only a couple things. So here's my non-rhetorical question for the day. Why do you guys watch me? I mean, I think that the, the reason that people find these these vlogs interesting is completely unique to the person. I know I just watched 116 videos by two guys on the internet, and the reason that I find their stuff interesting is probably going to be completely different from the way any why anyone else finds their stuff interesting. So, if you feel like it, leave me a comment. Tell me why you watch me. And until next time, bye. Does it make me a nerd if I have Stephen Hawking in my library?